Good morning, everyone. My name is Jane. I'm here with another topic, highest common factor. My last lesson was on lowest common multiple. So what is highest common factor, HCF? The highest common factor of two or more numbers is the largest number that can divide the numbers without any remainder. HCF is the abbreviation of highest, which is H, common, C, and factor, which is F. I have three questions which I would like you to solve on your own. But in case you cannot do it, please, I want us to do it together. So let's find the first one, which is the HCF of 12, 24, and 36. I will use the table method, just divided the LCM. So we draw our table. Twelve, twenty-four, and thirty-six. Which is the smallest number that can go into the tree of them without remainder? Which is two, except one. We don't talk about one here. It's just outside one, which other smallest number is two. The difference between HCF and LCM. In HCF, we talk, we take numbers that can go into all the numbers, into all the numbers. The least number that can go into all the numbers. No matter the number, which is, if it's four numbers, five, the number must go into the three of them without remainder. But for LCM, you just go with the lowest number that can go into any of them. It must not go around the three numbers. So for HCF, two can go into 12 without remainder, two can go into 24 without remainder, and two can go into 36 without remainder. So two into 12 is what? Six. Two into 24, 12. And 2 into 36, we have 18. The next number that can go into the three of them, if it's LCM, we'll go with 2 because 2 can go into the three of them. So HCF2, two, 2 can still go into the three of them. Let's go with our 2. 2 into 6 is 3 times. 2 into 12 is 6 times. And 2 into 18 is 9 times. So which other number can go into the tree of them without a remainder? This is HCF, so it must call, go into the tree of them. Two cannot go into this, but two can go into this. Three can go into this, three can go into this, three can go into this. We go with the number three. Three into three, how many times? One. Three into six, how many times? Two. And three into nine, how many times? Three. Is there any number that can go into the three of them without remainder? None. Talking about LCM, the final result will be 1, 1, 1. But when it comes to HCF, it's not necessarily going to be 1, 1, 1. Just make sure that there's no number that can go into the three numbers without remainder. So our prime, our common prime factors are 2, 2 and 3. So let's multiply it. The HCF is equal to 2 times 2 times 3, which is 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 3, 12. So the answer is 12. For the second question, which is find the else HCF of 30, 60 and 72. Number two, draw a table. We have 30, 60, and 72. Which number can go into the three of them without remainder? We have two. Two into 30, 15. Two into 60, 30. 2 into 72, we have 36. Can 2 still go in? 2 cannot go into 15. 
but two can go into 30 and 36. So we'll not use two, we we'll use three. Three can go into 15, three can go into 30, and three can go into 36. So let's go with three. Three into 15, how many times? Five. Three into 30, 10. And three into 36, we have 12. Is there another number that can go into the three of them without remainder? No. So these are the prime, common prime factors of 30, 60, and 72. Therefore, our HCF is equal to 2 times 3. And 2 times 3 is what? 6. That is just the final answer. Coming to the third one, the question says, find the HCF of 18, 36, and 48. Let's draw our table. Eighteen, thirty-six, and forty-eight. Eighteen, thirty-six, and forty-eight. So, what number can go into the three of them without a remainder? We we'll still have two. You always start with two. If two can go, you go for three. If three can go, you go for four. You keep going from two upwards. So, 2 into 18 is how many times? We have 9. 2 into 36 is 18. 2 can go into 48 <coughs> 24 times. Can 2 go into the three numbers? No. 2 can go into 18. 2 can go into 24, but 2 cannot go into 9. So, let's try 3. 3 can go into this. 3 can go into this. And 3 can go into this. So, we make use of 3. 3 into 9, how many times? 3 times. 3 into 18, how many times? 6 times. And 3 into 24, how many times? 8 times. Is there another number that can go into 3, 6, and 8 without remainder? No. So we stop here. The prime, the common prime factors of 18, 36, and 48 is 2 and 3. So the HCF, the HCF of 18, 36, and 48 is equal to 2 times 3. And 2 times 3 is what? 6. This is the final answer. The HCF of 12, 24, and 36 is 12. The HCF of 30, 60, and 72 is 6. The HCF of 18, 36, and 48 is what? 6. If you don't want to do the table together, you can actually do it separately. For the 18, you do it separately. Then for the 36, you do it separately. And for the 48, you do it separately. You will still arrive at the same answer so let's try it two can go into 18 we have two into 18 how many times nine two can't go into nine so let's try three three into nine how many times three then three can still go three into three how many times one for 36 two can go into 36 how many times 18 times two can go into